Trapped and stateless, the Maraguli of Uganda, an extraordinary story of hope and resilience. This is the story of an extraordinary people, the Maragoli. The Maragoli people are perhaps the most adventurous, mysterious, religious, and resilient people on earth. Less than 20% of the people we call the Maragoli live in Maragoli land, which is in Vihiga County of Kenya, numbering over 4 million people on earth. They are scattered throughout East Africa. Majority of them live in the counties of Vihiga, Kakamega, Bungoma, Busia, Transoya, and Nandi. You will find pockets of the Maragoli people in virtually all parts of Kenya. Ingrained in their philosophy of life is the concept of Imbimbu Yumugongo. You need a brother to protect your back. If one settles in an area, he calls others to join him and soon sprouts a Maragoli settlement. They can be found in Nyanza area of Kenya, specifically Migori County. Some have settled in Bura in Tana River County. They occupy parts of Transoya, Kakamega County, Busia County, Wasingishu, and Kisi counties. Some of them are settled in the Republic of Tanzania. The Maragoli embody the true spirit of East African community. But the most spectacular settlement of the Maragoli people can be found in midwest of Uganda in a place called Kigumba in Kiriandongo district of Bunyoro sub-county. Mythology have it that the Maragoli people came from the modern-day Middle East and followed the Nile southwards. With his Mugusi brother, they sojourned through Uganda into modern-day Western Kenya. Linguistic evidence demonstrates that Maragoli language would easily pass as one of the cluster of Ugandan languages called Runyakitara. Murogori, the founder of Maragoli tribe, was a medicine man. His name came from the word Omulokole in the language of Western Uganda. A spiritual leader, a healer, in short, a man of God. It is no wonder that any place in which the Maragoli settle has the highest number of churches per capita. Mythology further tells the story of Maragoli, who would bless the tribe on 26th of December of every year. This is the national day for the Maragoli people. The Maragoli people observe this day dedicatedly. It is on this day, during the circumcision year, that they give a name to the age set or the Rika. Maragoli people have names of Rikas since the 15th century. The 26th of December of every year is celebrated every year in the capital city of Maragoli land, Mbale, in Vihiga County. Upon his death, the mantle of leadership was handed over to Murugori's last born son, Mavi, who would bless the tribe. Mavi had a number of sons, but according to culture, the last born son is the one bequeathed with the powers to guide the family or the tribe. That is why Mavi's last born son, Nondi, assumed the priesthood after Mavi's 
death. To date, the priesthood resides among Nondi clansmen. Nondi clansmen inherited the instruments of power, including the totems and are custodians of the tribe's history and culture and oversee the spiritual life of the people. This has, however, undergone transformation due to influence of Christianity. Traditionally, the Nondi high priests would pour libation and offer sacrifices on behalf of the entire tribe. The bull that would be used for this ritual would not be slaughtered, but talked to until it collapsed and died. In blessing the tribe, the high priest was to bless all the Maragoli people in the world, including the Maragoli of Kigumba. We set out to find out about the Maragoli of Uganda with Neka Igara. I left Western Uganda, Kabale town, in the morning while Neka left Kakamega to Kampala via Busia border. The journeys were synchronized. My journey through the scenic Western Uganda, through Ntungamo, Liantonde, Mbarara, and Masaka was breathtaking. The undulating hills of Western Uganda, the large banana plantations were refreshing to my spirit of discovery. Equally important to me was the symbolic significance of the jackfruit. The jackfruit tree is found all over Buganda and in every homestead of Buganda. The physical beauty of this East African nation and the warm hearts of its people are in harmony. My friend and colleague Godfrey Sempungu who drove me to Kampala, was at hand to film me about the culture of his people, the Baganda. I met Neka in a Kampala hotel for the planning process. The night was eventful. We enjoyed the matoke. Though Neka wanted ugali. And yes, some ugali was prepared for him. I have learned to enjoy matoke and other recipes, including katogo, and my all-time favorite vegetables, eshwiga, in Maragoli language, disosa. Part two of the extraordinary story of extraordinary people, the Maragoli of Uganda. We traveled to Kigumba aboard a matatu. As the matatu snaked out of the bustling and busy Kampala city, the journey through Luero Triangle towards the north rekindled memories of President Yoweri Museveni's Bush War against the Obote regime. As we traveled, we wondered how the Maragoli could preserve their culture and language for such a long time without recognition, far away from home as we know it. All these questions would be answered shortly as we got to Kigumba Township. We were welcomed by Mze Julius and briefly sat outside his shop in Kigumba. How did the Maragoli people find themselves in Bunyoro? We first sought to find out this from the leaders of the Maragoli Community Association. Now the history is of three versions. One, Morocco Rikuziaken passed through Uganda to go in Kenya. And history tells us, Actually, are you aware that in Uganda we have an MP called Indoi? Have you have you learned of it? Hey. Yeah. 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 
endo mizikiti jaba jaba siramu kampala barogoriza but now looking at that immigration from the north ni babeta in bunyoro ni bazia buganda busoka ni bingira up to western part of kenya the history tells us so there is that version that, that version the first yeah. year yeah. even before settling in in Portland they were first here, here. And left others here exactly that's one then the second the second one umane the the opening of the Uganda railway Uganda up to now i can say it is not a developed country when you compare Uganda and Kenya most laborers we are coming from Kenya that was by 1900 just as you cross the bridge of jinja you see that sugar works kakira that first trading center called the kakira magamaga then abaza very early before uh, i could say when uh, the time when the missionaries were now opening schools that was in in 1910 1907 up to 1925 when makerere was upgraded to an institution offering diplomas by somebody called sir philip micho 1925 barogo libandi bale banyinge in uganda So it is the relationship they had with the Bunyoro king. Asa Bunyoro king na tura na zie kena na meeting na banene baba barugodi in 1953 and 54. Neba handikiza bandu wenera 1953 and 54. That's when the king went he went there and took some good time there. So we baba handikiza the king came and shared with his committee ya kingdom ya ya bunyoro that was the king satito win king satito satito win ni w i n y i win ni so when he came back he looked around the vacant lands area yororaki gombe it was just a forest So nebare tabarugo libuko tanga it was well organized between this uh, colonial government yeno neyera ne baba pakira ula baba nini ra hai i'm forgetting ni watu ra wenera ne baza ne bakampinga babora there are three versions of this story they explained as the maragoli sojourned through western uganda towards present day maragoli land some of the maragoli were left behind in midwestern uganda secondly the maragoli may have arrived in uganda with the construction of the kenya uganda railway in 1901 to 1904 but the final version of the story has it that the king of bunyoro visited maragoli land and requested people of maragoli origin to come to bunyoro and serve as his guards the last group of the maragoli people to arrive in kigumba under the invitation of the king of bunyoro was in 1957 each of those who arrived here were allocated 20 acres of land each What are some of the cultural practices that the Maragoli of Kigumba have preserved over the years? David explains that one of the most important rituals is circumcision of their male children. They synchronize their circumcision with that in Maragoli land in Kenya and get a circumciser from Maragoli land to come all the way to Kigumba to circumcise their children. They share the same rika or circumcision edge set with their counterparts in Vihiga. It is the same. Yeah. Now sasa we have those who connect us there. Uh-huh. Yeah, when they are finished we also come in immediately within that same year almost even the same month. Uh-huh. Yeah, there is connection. This happens to all the Maragoli people scattered in the entire East African region. What is their staple food? 
unlike the entire Uganda being a place for matoke, bananas, Kigumba is the only township where you can get ugali served without matoke. They grow lots of maize in the area. We arrived when the planting season was approaching and everybody was busy. Clan system is preserved as it is in Maragoli land in Biga. Among the clansmen we met included Avamavi, Avayonga, Avadamai, Avakirima, Avamuku, and Avasagara. David, the Secretary General of the Maragoli Association, is Amsagara by tribe. Part 3 of the extraordinary story of an extraordinary people, the Maragoli of East Africa. Life is not rosy all the way for the Maragoli people of Uganda. Though they have lived in Uganda for over a century, the Maragoli are not recognized as a tribe in Uganda. They occupy at least one parish in Kiriandongo district, in Bunyoro sub-region, Midwestern Uganda. Their population is estimated to be over 40,000 people. The Maragoli are engaged in a struggle of recognition in Uganda. They have over the years petitioned government over this matter. The Maragoli leaders have petitioned parliament and even petitioned President Uweri Museveni. Due to lack of identity cards, they face discrimination in many areas such as access to health services because of lack of identity cards. We had two petitions in the parliament. That was in 2014. We were called for a hearing. 20 members of the association, we went. But unfortunately, the election period came before the issues were tabled in parliament. They lack political power and were left out in the 1995 and 2005 amended constitution. During Id Amin's era, they were threatened with deportation back to Kenya. President Uweri Museven has expressed his position affirming that the Maragoli of Uganda are indeed Ugandans and has asked various instruments of government to expedite the process. Members of parliament have been playing ping pong game with this issue, but now recognition is coming. Stories in the Ugandan newspapers highlight the plight of the Maragoli, trapped in an environment where they cannot take national identity cards unless they lie that they are of the Banyoro tribe. As we leave Kigumba, we are filled with mixed thoughts about a people trapped in a hostile environment, but with the resilience to survive all odds. Undying spirit, deep connection with brothers and sisters elsewhere, thousands of kilometers away. But there is a ray of hope, as explains David. We are one people. The story of the Maragoli of Uganda explains that we are indeed one people, one family, the East African family. Why you, why you